Welcome back to this day. Joining me now from Memorial Care is Jessica Sanders and Ramit Cooper. Welcome, ladies. So good to see you. you. Good to see you. Yeah, thank you. So tell me, um, what are your roles with Memorial Care? Yes. So for myself, I am a uh, senior advocate and community liaison. So my role is to go out into the senior communities and um, whether it's like independent, memory care, assisted living, and my goal is to see how Saddleback Medical Center can be more involved. And a lot of the ways that we do that is by hosting health education seminars, um, providing social work support, lectures, and being able to show more of the resources and educate the residents what's available to them. Oh, good. And Ronit, how about you? What's your role? So I'm a community benefits social worker through Saddleback Medical Center, and I go out anywhere from Irvine down to San Clemente, and I help people when they get out of the hospital, and I get them connected to resources if they need transportation or Meals on Wheels or caregiver resources. I help them get connected to those resources. And we just basically, like Jessica said, we look for different ways that we can get involved through the community. Um, and that's kind of what led us to get involved with the Thrive Group to help people get out and socialize more. Yeah, this is so wonderful, it's so great. And I heard today that uh, you guys were the first to like do uh, surveys to ask people what is needed or how did it feel mm -hmm. or you know that kind of thing. So it's just so great that it's like if you have services, maybe you're not feeling your best, and but to be able to, to have somebody who cares and says, hey, we're here to help. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're here trying to do what we can. So tell me, is there any uh, updates with the collaboration between Memorial Care and the Thrive Group here in the village? Absolutely. So the latest that we've had was the last social event with Thrive. And that one was a fall and balance prevention focus. So we had our physical therapist show to provide a little lecture on, on fall and balance. And um, it was, we had like mini pies available to everyone. So we had like social games. That's usually kind of the core aspect is like trying to finding some way for uh, the residents to socialize and meet other residents um, while providing that health lecture and resources aspect. How many people showed up for this event? I think it was it was a pretty good turnout. I believe it was around maybe fifty residents. Okay. Sure. So nice. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, big but not too big. Yeah, it was like a great small, spot. Yeah, opportunity Absolutely. to meet new people. How fun! I think because that uh, we had a lot of rain, so yeah. people didn't know if it was going to be raining or not. Oh, so okay. people were kind of waiting until last minute to make that decision whether they were going to go or not. Yeah, so. yeah. Rain definitely will keep you inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we, I was definitely inside on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> I was telling you, we were building a puzzle for the first time ever. <laughs> Um, so, Ronit, what is the purpose of these events, of these social events? So, exactly what you just said. They are to help people um, in, the, in Laguna Woods, um, residents, to thrive, to get out and to socialize, meet your neighbors and visit with people um, and just meet new people. One of um, the people that, uh, one of the groups of people that attended the first uh, social, the ice cream social, they met each other sitting at their table and they registered for the second event together and Aww. they came together. And it was really nice to see that exactly what the purpose of what these social events are is to bring people to meet new people. Yeah. And they were able to meet um, people at their table and they became fast friends. Um, another one of our residents um, had said at one of the socials that if he wasn't there, he would just be sitting at home staring at the four walls. Wow. And so exactly the point of why we want to do these socials and get people out. Yeah. Oh, this is, yeah, it's such a wonderful cause. And so you have the, the next social coming up. What's the next event? Yes. So we're really excited about this theme that we're going for. So it'll be the Thrive Spring Social Event, and we're going to have personal charcuterie boxes for the residents, and we'll have socialized, we'll play games, Jenga, and human bingo is what we have planned. Human bingo? Human bingo, <laughs> yes. It's a really popular one, but residents do enjoy that game because um, it really forces you to kind of talk and get to know people okay, and asking cute. each other questions. And we'll have our registered dietitian speak on nutrition. So that'll be a nice little theme. So it kind of ties in with the little charcuterie boxes that we'll have available. 
So that's kind of that's kind now. Of are they building their own charcuterie box, or that's, that's provided? Provided. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It'll all be ready. <laughs> <laughs> How cute is that, though? Super fun. And and so, what's the lesson you said is going to be from Memorial Care? Nutrition. Yes. Nutrition provided yeah. by our registered dietitian. Very so. important. Mm -hmm. And nutrition changes as you age and different stages Absolutely. of your life. Absolutely. So it's always very good to to get an update and to know like. Oh, hey, I thought I was doing well, or right. maybe I need to add this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even I've learned from it. Yeah, absolutely. Like learning the different types of food groups, uh, what's the portion. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so who is invited to this event? event? Who's it open to? Who should come? <laughs> it's, it's open to any Laguna Woods residents, and we encourage you to bring your friends and to um, bring a guest of any Laguna Woods resident um, and come on out. We're excited about the about the nutritionist. So anybody that wants to learn more about nutrition, it's a great opportunity to get out. Um, and anyone who's isolated and at home, just feeling kind of alone, it's a great way to get out and socialize and meet people. That's great. And so, how do residents sign up for this event? So they can reserve through by calling me. Um, I've been taking the reservation so far. So the event will be for uh, April 18th. Um, so first come, first serve, space is limited, so we want to make sure that we have enough charcuterie boxes and whatnot, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. And then will there be another event? Is there another while you're in stages of planning for the next one after this? Yeah, so it'll be a summer, summer okay. this year. So more news will come out once we get more of the details set in stone, but we're really excited to continue bringing more of these events to the community. Yeah. I think because it's summer, we're going to do some kind of theme with ice cream, but I'm not sure 100%. Uh, okay. so. Popular Stay one. Stay yeah. tuned. <laughs> ice cream is always a big hit, <laughs> for sure. It's true. Absolutely. <laughs> we, at Christmas time, my kids wanted a, um, a, a the home ice cream maker. Oh, Yeah, we yes. put the salt in nice. and all that. So, yeah, that's been a big hit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always loves ice cream. <laughs> Absolutely. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for being on today and telling us about this. I wish you guys all the best with this next social. Thank you. So Thank much. you so much. Yeah. Come to the Spring Social on Thursday, April 18th at 2 p.m. in Clubhouse 7 and learn about daily nutrition tips, plus have a great time socializing, playing games, and meeting new friends. Space is limited, so please RSVP by calling Jessica at 949-452-3791. Stay with us. We'll have the Fit Brain Club coming up right after this.